The spreading of the coronavirus shows how vulnerable our society, our economy and markets are. We do not know how this deadly virus will expand in the end, but we've already seen uh, that it has large repercussions on the Chinese economy and maybe on other economies as well, at least temporarily. As we know from SARS, the main impact comes through the private consumption channel. And this is even larger than it was 17 years ago when this epidemic did happen. So in that respect, uh, the Chinese economy is likely to show some weakness. And we think that our base case of growth below 6% in China is likely to come through. But the authorities probably will do everything to prevent a fall below the 5% mark. Beyond that, we also see that other risks are still apparent. We have heard in Davos that US President Trump is still threatening the Europeans with new tariffs. And although the UK is leaving the European Union with little surprises at the 31st of January, it is very open what the final outcome of the future trade agreements between the UK and the European Union will be. In that respect, we still have risks for the global economic development and for markets. Nevertheless, we have seen a pretty good start of the year on financial markets in 2020, and we have seen recent sentiment indicators, at least in some areas and in some sectors, to have some more upbeat readings. In that respect, we stick to our forecast that we will see the weak point of the economic development in the first half of this year and afterwards a moderate recovery. We expect central banks only to act if there is a materialization of the risks what we see, either from the coronavirus or some of the other risks. Otherwise, they will hold their feet still and let some room for the economy to recover on a moderate pace. Anything else? I take a ginger tea to strengthen my immune system.